Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a get ready with me, like, I don't know, get ready with me. I'm gonna be doing my makeup, which is this look right here. I know I'm branching out of my neutral zone slowly, but I'm branching out. So I'm gonna be doing my makeup, and I'm gonna be doing my hair, and I'm gonna be showing my outfit, which I know I normally don't do in videos. I think I'm gonna try and start doing more like style or fashion stuff. I don't wanna call it fashion because I wouldn't consider myself like fashionable, but just more outfit stuff or stuff that I would recommend, things that I would wear. I know sometimes in favorites I talk about like certain pieces that I really like, but I don't really go any more in depth than that. So yeah, this is something that I would wear for a date night. For me, like if we're going out somewhere, I wanna like feel cute, but I have to be comfortable. So if we're gonna go somewhere, like I wanna be wearing cute, but comfortable, so like comfortable shoes and comfortable outfits. So I put together something that's comfortable for me, and then this hair has kind of been like my go-to hair lately, just something messy. Trying out new things, new lashes. I'm going all the way with you today. So let's go ahead and get started. Before a date night or any type of event, I like to do a face mask. So I use this one from Feeling Beautiful. This is the Honeydew and Chamomile Sleeping Mask. So this one will help to hydrate you while you sleep. So you just wanna pat this on your face at night and then sleep with it and then you'll have more glowy, hydrated skin in the morning. Now I'm gonna try out this serum. This is from Liani Co. This is their Gloomy Day Serum, which will help to soothe and hydrate tired and irritated skin. So I'm just gonna pat a little bit of that all over my skin before I prime my face. All right, so first, I'm gonna prime my skin, and today I'm using the Marc Jacobs Invisible Undercover Perfecting Coconut Face Primer. <laughs> the packaging is really nice, by the way. It's very, like, heavy. Feels like it might be weighted. Um, but I'm just gonna take, like, a, a pump, about a pump and a half of this. This stuff is really nice. If you're looking for more of a hydrating primer like me, I really like this one. It reminds me a lot of the Makeup Forever one. It's just a little bit more lightweight than that one. I don't know, if you're oily, I don't know if I would recommend this one, but for more of like a hydrating primer, I would definitely recommend it. So I'm gonna start with under eye concealer, and today I'm trying out a new, newish one. This is the uh, Amazing Cosmetics Amazing Concealer. I know I talked to you guys a little bit about it on Snapchat. I was using a different shade, so I went to Ulta and I picked up this one. This is the color Light Beige. This is also the really big one. Uh, this particular bottle bottle was $42, which is really, really expensive. Uh, but you can buy a smaller one for $28. You definitely don't need this much. This is like a ton of concealer for how like full coverage it is. You don't have to use a lot. So anyway, I'm gonna apply a little bit of the light beige concealer to my under eyes using uh, the Morphe E8 brush, which is my favorite under eye brush to use. And this concealer, it's like as thick as the IT Cosmetics one, but it's not like as tacky as that one is. I feel like this one has a little bit nicer of a finish. It's not as shiny, if you will. Do you see that? That's pretty good coverage. It's a little bright, but uh, once I put on the foundation and everything, it'll blend in a little bit more. This is not something that I would wear like with no other makeup. This is like heavy duty. Heavy duty. And now I'm just gonna add a little bit of eyeshadow primer to my lids. This one's from Jessie's Girl, which I got in this month's Ipsy Glam Bag. All right, and before I start my shadow, I'm gonna put on some brows. I'm gonna fill them in a little bit because I can't even tell what I look like right now if I don't have eyebrows on. So I'm just gonna use the uh, Anastasia Brow Wiz in the color Soft Brown. I just wanna throw a PSA out there for everybody that thinks I line my lips with white paint or concealer. I don't know if you can see right here, it's just naturally like that. For some reason, when my, my face is in the sun more, my mustache region gets a little bit tanner. I don't know why, it's just the way my face is. Thank you so much for listening, and I'm out. Okay, so we're ready to start the eyeshadow, and I want to do something really like um, glam, because I want to do a nude lip. And I was having serious FOMO over this palette, because everybody was telling me how amazing it was. So I also picked this up at my Ulta trip. Uh, this is the Lorac Mega Pro Palette 2. I used the first palette heavily last year when I got it, so I thought this would be a good investment. And it's a pretty good price. I think it was $59, but you get a lot of colors in here. I really like this palette. The original Lorac palette had a lot of cool tones in it, which you know I'm kind down for, but this one I feel like is a lot more wearable to a lot of different people. It has a lot of warmth and the shimmer colors they have in here are really nice. Um, so obviously I needed to have it immediately. I think I'm gonna do a mixture of colors. I'm kind of feeling the Goji Sorbet. I really like this dark sienna and penny. We're just gonna make some magic right now. We're gonna go with the flow, shall we? All right, so first I'm gonna go in with Sorbet and do a little bit of shading just in the upper brow area. Kinda trace the shape we're gonna make. And this is a Smith 232 brush. So 
So I'm gonna be applying this color into the socket right by the brow and then actually pulling it into the crease and then downward from the crease. All right, next I'm gonna go in with Goji, which I'm going, I'm going pinky here, it's happening, uh, with a Smith 247 brush. And I'm gonna brush that directly below the uh, sorbet color. Next, I'm gonna take a shade deeper than Goji. I didn't really like Cabernet that's in the palette, so I'm gonna use this one. Uh, this is a Luxie Beauty Shadow number 290. This one's a little bit more purpley than Cabernet was. Um, and I'm just gonna layer that directly on top of the Goji color and pull that shade downward onto my lid. And then I'm just gonna soften up the outer edge with the 232 brush that we used to apply the sorbet color. So I just realized by looking at this palette, there's not a lot of good deep matte shades in this palette, which is okay because I am covered on deep matte shades. I have the deep matte browns covered. So I'm actually gonna go in with uh, Americano from Makeup Geek, come through Makeup Geek as always. This is a nice, deep, warm, kind of purpley toned brown. So I'm gonna come in and add that to the outer edges and we'll see if we wanna smoke it up into the brow, but I think I'm gonna keep it on the outer V of the eye. So if you really wanna make this look like super dramatic, you could take this Americano all the way up into the brow area, but sometimes you just don't need that much drama in your life. So I'm just gonna keep it on this outer edge here. I'm actually gonna come in for the highlight with the Mary Luminizer. Yes, girl from the balm. Sometimes you just need to put that on your inner corner, you know what I mean? Like you just know it's gonna come through. So I'm gonna apply that with the uh, Makeup Geek pencil brush. So I like to pull it upward and then just really hit it hard right here. Bah. Bah. They won't know I hit them. All right, so now the shadow is pretty much done. We can always come back in and do a little fine tuning if we want, but I'm gonna add some eyeliner to the uh, lash line. This is the NYC liquid liner. Now we're just gonna jump straight into smoking that lower lash line out. I'm gonna go in uh, with Goji, and this is a Smith 302 brush. This is actually that lip brush I was telling you guys about. And then I'm gonna go into the Luxie color, the Aubergine. And then right into good old Americano. Okay, so I'm gonna keep adding Americano and then I'm gonna go back in and smoke it out with that, uh, the Luxie shadow. So now I'm just gonna curl my lashes, put on some mascara. This is the uh, Tarte Lights Camera Flashes Mascara, which is what I have been reaching for every single day for the past couple months, actually. I'm gonna put some of the NYX Tre Jolie uh, pencil in my waterline. This is the dark brown one. One of my favorite waterline pencils. Now I'm gonna put on some lashes and I'm gonna hit you with something different today. I'm not gonna wear my Queen Bees. I'm going to pause on that for a minute. I'm gonna be wearing Ardell. These are Ardell 113s. Oldies, but classics. These are amazing. They're, they're nice and dramatic without being too thick. I don't know if you guys follow her, but styled by Harouche. Her lashes, she does Kylie Jenner's makeup, but her lashes are always amazing. She was on that Turks and Caicos trip, and I was just like, what lashes are you wearing? They're just perfect. But she was saying she curls hers a lot and then puts on individuals, so I'm gonna try it right now. Ooh, there we go. I'm gonna do the outer section. Oh shit. It worked. All right, so I'm gonna let my, my lash glue finish drying and uh, we're gonna go ahead and move on to foundation. And I'm gonna be using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation, but I did change my shade. So I'm using shade number 125 now instead of 127. This one's a little bit more neutral than yellow. Um, and I think a lot of you guys agreed with me. I think it looks better. And I'm just gonna be applying that with a damp beauty blender. Now I'm gonna do a little highlighting around my eye area. I'm gonna be using the NARS Custard Concealer which is my favorite like soft brightening one. And I do want you to know I have the loving tan, self tanner on my body right now. That's why it looks extremely tan. Um, but once I'm like marinating in it for two hours and then once it's ready, you can wash it off. I actually do that sometimes before I get ready, especially if I'm going to an event or to a date night or something. I will put on the loving tan right when I get out of the shower, the two hour express. And then I will do my hair, do my makeup, and then I'll jump in the shower. I know it sounds crazy, but I will take a shower just to rinse off my body. And obviously I just won't get my face or my makeup wet. I put on a shower cap. And then it's like ultra tan before you walk out the door. Um, and you don't have to do it, like sleep in it if you don't want to. So that's what I'm doing right now. That's why I look extra, extra tan. This is not from Turks and Caicos. That is already gone. All right, so I'm just gonna apply this around my eye area and then I'm gonna buff it out with the Beauty Blender. Woo! I'm gonna hit it, hit it with that Laura Mercier powder. You gotta do it quick. 
on the under eyes. The old eyes. I got my e.l.f. brush. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of liquid highlight to the tops of my cheekbones. This one's from Jelly Pong Pong, and the color is Ethereal. This is a lightweight water-based luminizer, um, so if you don't like using a cream, this one's a little bit more of a liquid, so I'm just gonna add that directly to the tops of my cheekbone using my fingertips. I feel like you could actually put this all over your face too if you wanted to, if you apply it with a, a beauty blender. I've been known to do that with highlights, just saying. And then today I'm gonna to be using uh, the Champagne Pop Highlight. This is the one that Becca did with Jaclyn Hill. Really pretty color. And uh, I'm gonna be adding it with a Smashbox fan brush directly on top of that cream highlighter. Ooh, oh boy. And then I'm gonna set my face. You know I like to come in with my uh, MAC Select Sheer Pressed Powder, favorite setting powder, because I can't be having like wet face all the time. I don't like the feeling of wet foundation. I have to set it. I'm gonna do a little bit of facial sculpting and today I'm gonna to be using the new Tarte Contour Palette. This is um, one of their new products that I got in Turks and Caicos. Very pretty packaging and this one actually smells like chocolate too. So I'm gonna use this shade right here, just do a little soft sculpt on the cheekbone, you know? And then I'm gonna come in with the Morphe E30 brush, which is like really big. Uh, go in with the same Tarte shade and do a little nose contour and really just kind of extending the eye shadow down almost, you know? I want that strong right here. I want strength right there. I'm gonna come in with a bronzer helmet. I'm gonna use the uh, MAC Give Me Sun bronzer, and this is the MAC 135 brush, which uh, is really bomb for doing bronzer helmets. I'm gonna come in strong with the bronzer because my body is so tan right now. Okay, so blush, you know what? I'm actually gonna use the blush. Well, it's called Accentuate. Uh, that's in this Tarte palette right here. Let me just show you. I was like, that's like a really pretty color that I would use. Let me show you how I know this. I put it next to Cubic from MAC, which is one of my all-time favorite blushes. Hello. All right, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of that Accentuate blush onto my cheekbones using a uh, Crown IB126 blush brush. And then I'm gonna do a little bit more highlighting right here using uh, number one, the highlight shade in this palette. So now I think I'm ready to add a little bit more, a little more smoke to my lower lash line. I think I'm there. I'm going with Goji. And then some of the Luxie. Just a little something something. Put on some mascara on my lower lashes, and then the eyes are almost done. So now to polish up the eyes and diffuse any lines, I'm gonna go in with this brush. This is a Delium blending brush, number 776, and this has no shadow on it. Uh, I'm just gonna go in and kind of buff out some of the some of the harsher edges that I have on the inner corner of my eyes. When I put on my brows initially, it was just to like see what was going on on my face, but now I wanna go in and like polish them. I'm gonna use uh, the Anastasia Brow Pro Palette, but I'm just gonna be using the medium brown color. All right, so now I'm gonna hit those top lashes with some more mascara, really just focusing on the outer edge. I'm gonna take the wand and kind of wiggle it moving upward into the lashes, not like how I regularly apply it. I want the 113s to look like they're my natural lashes, so I'm gonna make them a little bit chunkier with mascara. And the only thing with this is I notice if you put mascara on false lashes, you can't really reuse them. I mean, you could, they're just like more goopy. Now we're gonna do the lip product. So I'm gonna start with MAC Strip Down Lip Liner. And then I'm gonna use some of the Tristique Matte Lip Color. This is in the color Nantucket Nude. This will just be like a nice nude matte finish lipstick. My lips are kind of dry right now, as usual. So I'm gonna add a little bit of lip gloss. This is the Anastasia Undressed. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and move on to hair. And usually by this time, if I'm like getting ready, I have no time left for hair, but you gotta put a bend in it. I got If I don't put a bend in my hair, I know I'm gonna regret it. And I'm gonna put in extensions, obviously. You guys know I've been using the Hair Shop extensions lately. They're still my favorite ones. I love them and I actually went and picked up a new pair. So this is the color I was using before. It has coconut oil in it right now. I don't even know why I have it with me. It is disgusting. 
But this is the color before. I love this color. It blends really well with my hair. The only problem is the top. Obviously, my hair is not that color all the way up. So I found this set. These are their ombre or balayage. I don't remember exactly what they're called. I'm pretty sure it's the ombre extensions. So it has the dark brown, which is like the exact same color as my base color. And then it fades down to really um, like ashy blonde at the bottom. I don't have this color in my hair, this middle section. There's a lot of warmth up in here, which I'm not crazy about, but you don't really see it. Anyway, these are the extensions I'm gonna be using today. So uh, I only use four clips. Um, so I'm gonna show you how I clip those in. And I'm just gonna throw a quick bend in the hair and make it really messy. The curling iron I'm gonna be using is this one. This is a new one that I just got at Ulta. This is the Hot Tools extended length barrel. Regular curling irons are typically only like, like that long because they got all that junk with the clip up there. So this is really great because you can use it as a wand. You can just wrap it around and it has a shorter clip on it right here. So you don't have to hold your hair and clip it down all the way down because the clip tends to like flatten out your hair and it makes it look like a more traditional like ringlety kind of curl. So that's why I'm really loving this curling iron. Just picked this up at Ulta. Anyway, so we're gonna be using that and then my teasing comb and hairspray, which I will show you. So I'm gonna clip in my extensions and after I clip in each weft, I actually like to curl it before I put all my hair back down. It's just easier for me. And then I'm just gonna spritz my roots with a little bit of this Pantene Pro-V dry shampoo. This is a waterless dry shampoo, but I like to use it to add a little bit of texture to my roots, especially right now because my hair's so clean. So I'm just gonna spray a little bit of that in there and then tease it so that way I can clip in my extensions. So I just clipped in the first section and then I just like to curl it after each one. So I'm just gonna take a one inch chunk, clip the middle into the barrel and then just do uh, the old once around. So I curl one section towards my face and then one section away, just kind of alternating. If I'm using the clip, like on this curling iron, I'm using the clip on it, just that way it doesn't flatten out the curl and make it look too ringlety. I like to do the old twist-a-roo here before I clamp it. It'll give it a little bit more texture when I curl it. We're all about texture here. All right, so then we're done with the first section. See, it's nothing like, it's nothing really pretty. You know what I mean? And now we're gonna do the next section. Okay, and then we got that section done. We're gonna add in the little two clipper guys. This is like, I feel like this is the only amount of extensions that I can get away with putting in myself until you just start seeing tracks like all day long. I mean, you already kind of see them right now, but they're dark brown, so they blend in. All right, now we're gonna do the last section of hair. So we're gonna do a little teasing first, cause you know, I'm a little bald back here. So I'm just gonna take this chunk. Dude, these new extensions have like changed my life though. Cause normally you'd be seeing a whole lot of blonde right there. I know you guys have seen it in my other videos. Just a little zhuzh. This is my um, Bumble and Bumble thickening spray. Like I don't even have anything to say about it. I'm just like, I just need it. All right, on the top, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the the wrap around because my hair is not respecting me right now. Now I'm gonna tease this last section. I'm gonna make this one big. I'm gonna crawl all these sections at the front away from my face, and then just clip the end right in there so that way it doesn't like stick out like crazy. Oof. All right, so now it's all curled. I'm just gonna kind of comb it out with my fingers. You guys know how I get down on these waves. Comb this side out with my fingers. Since I wanted to be like a little bit more glam tonight, that's why I did the side part. And then you can kind of like tease up in here, like the more teasing. I mean, I, I'm starting to look a little 80s, but not in the worst way. Um, and then just like sticking this behind your ear adds like a little bit more, I don't know, it makes it a little bit more like girly, I guess. 
Um, if you don't want to do that, you can leave it out, do a center part, and then you got a much more like beachy look going on. But I'm gonna go a little, a little more glam. Okay, so we're done with the hair and the makeup, and I'm actually gonna do an outfit too, which I know I normally don't do, but I thought I would do like head to toe, getting ready to go out. Um, so I'm gonna throw on an outfit. Hopefully you guys like it. Um, and yeah, then I'll be ready to go. So that wraps up the hair, makeup, and outfit. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. All right. John! <laughs> Which, John, you know that means you have to take me on a date now, right? Are you going to wear those shoes? Stop! <laughs> she wasn't ready.